Wars re review. Uh, hi, we have another Halo Wars review, and today we'll be um, reviewing the UNSC Gremlins. So let's get started, and we'll first start with the people. Okay, here we have our first guy um, is the UNSC Marine. Now, I am not going to give full detail. If you like full detail of these guys, you would want to go to my Brute Chopper review when I first saw them. There's a ton of detail there. Anyways. So nice shoulder pads, silver, full arm articulation, arms can bend, hands, full articulation, uh, arms can bend, sorry, um, that's just the same other head, arm, and head, a nice helmet, very detailed, uh, full articulation, and here we have the body, um, the nice plate, you know, uh, silver, very detailed. Knapsack at the back. Um, and here we got a belt. Full torso articulation. Legs can do 180 articulation and can bend. Uh, okay, and here we have the assault rifle. Looks pretty good. Um, I like it, you know. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Uh, Here's our brute. Brute, uh, purple with brown, bad paint job hair. Okay, so full arm articulation, arms can bend, hands full articulation, head full articulation, pretty detailed, pretty detailed on the chest, uh, back has a hole, um, full, full torso articulation, and legs 180 articulation, and, uh, legs can bend. Now, it always seems that the the UNSC people are always more detailed than the Covenant. So these guys are like it, they're the exact same people you get in the British Chopper set, which is kind of lame. But anyways, okay, now onto our main part of the review, the UNSC Gremlin. So uh, let's get started on it. Um, it's the the way to get this in Halo Wars is you have to be Professor Anders, and it's her unique unit. It's an okay unit, uh, not that powerful, but anyways, we're, we're doing the review. Okay, so, seven wheels, pretty big, all roll. It can roll pretty well. It's got four antennas, which is kind of crazy. One here, one here, one here, and one here, which is pretty good. Now, I added a lot of things with extra pieces and supports, so... Okay, that whole thing just fell off, but anyways. Okay, inside. Wait. Okay. Right here, we have the, I don't know, lights to it. They can go up and down. They tend to fall off really easily. So, yeah, but it can go up and down, sort of. Cool. Now, the, co the cockpit is really big. Like, you know, kind of crazy. So, inside here. We have stickers, very flat. It's got a lot of room inside. And we've got these little wig thing, uh, wedge things. I don't know. We've got stickers on it. You can move it a bit. It'll fall off, though. And inside here, we have the seat and the control pad with a nice little sticker. I'll put the guy in here. Yeah, it's a lot of room, which I like. And it's easy to put him in. I can put him in with one hand. So there he is in. He fits in pretty well. Okay, um, now, he's got a lot of decorations. It's a really good model of the actual one in Halo Wars, so. Now, here's this little light thing that you can move up and down. It You actually see this light in Halo Wars on the Gremlin. And here we have a control pad sort of thing, you know, buttons. And it has caution sticker, which is pretty cool. Same on the other side. Over here, I added this little part with extra pieces. You can too. It's just a little another thing. And the back here, we got a, another antenna. Marine sticker. I added these lights. Here we have um, two engines. You can, I think, that you can see in, in the actual uh, Halo or thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, now let's get started on to the actual gun. The gun is pretty good. Can't do anything. Um, 
here we had, I don't know how to explain like these, but you see them in the actual thing. Here we have two funny stickers, you know, a warning label and a caution sign. It's pretty cool. Now, it, the Gremlin's weapon is kind of like a Spartan laser, sort of. So, you know, it can't really move, has no articulation, which kind of sucks. But anyways, so yeah, and I, there were a few problems with the top part. It's just this giant square you add on usually fell off, so I added these pieces and put a black part there, uh, so it sticks it on pretty well. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, right here, it's nothing much, but you can't really see it, but they have a bunch of, never mind. Okay, anyways, so yeah, there's the weapon. It's a pretty good set overall, so, but, you know, uh, it's not the best I've ever seen, but it's pretty good. Maybe not worth the price exactly, but, you know. Now, this is a price range to 20 to 30, no, 20 to $35 set. This one, the other one, Hornet, that was the same size set, mostly same pri price, was $24.99. This one was $27.99, so increased price but anyways so overall it's a pretty good set it's just buying it comes with one brute uh one unsc marine and one gremlin so yeah go buy it in stores and my next review will be the uh i think it it has a locust in it i can't remember the name yeah okay see ya